Shalom, my friends. It's good to connect with you. And over the past week to see so many people on our Zoom sessions or, or know that we're celebrating Shabbat through our stream has just felt absolutely wonderful to me. I'd like to take a moment to look ahead with you just about two weeks into the future because Passover is on the way. And this Pesach is going to be a real manishtana kind of moment for many of us, a real difference from the way that we may wish to celebrate our holiday. The news is just sinking into me in whole new ways that, yes, this new reality means that I may not be able to go home to Providence with my family and celebrate our first night Seder in the way that we have for as long as I can possibly remember. And I don't imagine that I'm alone with that pain that sense of disappointment that this year Passover is not going to feel the way that I've always imagined that it would. And there is a sense of loss there. And that being said, I wanted for you to know that our leadership and our staff is aware that this is a situation for so many in our community. And we're doing some very hard work thinking and visioning about the kinds of resources and experiences that we might offer you, the members of our community, as an opportunity to experience Passover, maybe in a new way, to find some new delight in our Chag this year, and especially to remain connected in a difficult time. So stay tuned. We're going to share some resources with you next week, and until then, Please continue to connect with one another and connect with us to share both difficult moments and, and also simchot, good news too. We're, there are moments of joy and uplift, even in this difficult time. And to that point, I'd like to share with you, I now have a weekly spot on Chagiga. This is a Jewish uh, music show on WERS every Sunday morning, and I offer them a Jewish perspective on what we're experiencing with the coronavirus and, and responses to COVID-19. So I invite you to, to join in with me there. And it's generally going to be around nine o'clock. We'll see. My friends, just know that I and our community are offering you every blessing that we can moving through this time. Stay connected. Continue to find delight in our spring. And let's find ways together of making our Chag, our festival of freedom that's fast approaching, one of blessing. Be well.